We are heading to a place called Nong Ping today and we're gonna take the cable car if the weather permits it. I'm super excited. It's been so long since I've been there. Like I think, I don't know, like 10 years? I don't even know. Anyway, this is my outfit for today. My mom's outfit is obviously chosen to counteract the lack of color and pattern that I currently exhibit on my clothes. Mom and Ben had like a boy long. We've just arrived in Tongchung. We're heading to the place where you can take the cable car up to Nongping. Okay, we've just gotten on the standard cable. This one, there's not that many people here today, so it's just me and my mom in the entire cable. And you have the option of having like a crystal cable as well. And the difference between this one and the other one is that one has a transparent floor, so you can see like what's below you as well. But I'm pretty happy with this one. This came to $160 per person one way. The views are phenomenal and you get the winds coming through as well because they've opened the window. And you get to see like the airport as well. This is the world's 10 best cable car experience and I gotta say it was it was pretty good. Okay, let's go and check out what we can do in this village. So, um, we've just arrived and we're looking for places to eat. There are a lot of shops open. They even have a subway here. There's someone waving me over to, to get some food. Hello, hello. Ah. So we'll see, we'll see what we feel like. So we came here on a weekday, so there is barely anyone here. And one of the main attractions here is to see the Big Buddha. And it's actually quite nice up here. It's not too hot. It's a lot cooler here than it was um, back in Tongchong. I used to read so many of these comics when I was a kid. It's called Lo Fu Zi. I had like a whole collection of them. We just got our photos taken. I'll show you what the photos look like when we get home and download it. But now we're gonna go and grab something to eat because I'm getting pretty hungry. And I reckon by the time we go up to see the Big Buddha, there won't be as many food options there. So we're heading back to probably to the place where the lady was waving us over. She was very persuasive. Okay, we did end up going to the Japanese restaurant. They have like ramen, sushi, rice, um, side dishes and things like that. The lady gave us a discount. She gave us 10% off our, no, she gave us $10 off our meals and a free drink. Okay, so for lunch today, I got a chicken teriyaki with rice and miso soup and my mum got a dumpling ramen with seaweed. Okay. I think the staircase towards the Big Buddha is closed at the moment, so we're just sort of walking around the village area. I didn't expect to see so many cows <laughs> around us. We've seen like six already just freely roaming this area. They seem pretty chill though. They're just eating grass and that's pretty much it. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the staircase that leads up to the Big Buddha. I've done this before. It uh, does require some level of fitness, but I think like the best view is probably down here because once you get up there, you can't really see what we're seeing right now. But yeah, today is also the perfect weather for it. It's been raining so much this week and the past week. And today it's sort of like gloomy, but that means it's not crazy sunny, which I really appreciate. All right, we are now going to check out the wisdom path. It takes about 15 minutes, um, to be very honest, even if the stairs weren't being repaired, I doubt that my mom and I would be walking all those stairs up. We can see everything from the bottom. Currently on the wisdom path, let's see how much additional wisdom I attain after the 15 minutes. I do think that we have now become food for the mozzies that are here. I didn't even bring mozzie spray. Not a lot of wisdom. I'm not really sure what this is. Because this restaurant has been closed for so many years, during this time people have damaged it, stolen things from it, and they said that they will try to fix this as soon as possible. Okay, we have just arrived. My mom was telling me that this, um, if you continue on this path, it's a great place to go see the sun rise. Okay, we've stopped by one of the stores to get a quick dessert. It's a tofu pudding dessert. I love it, it's delicious. You can have it hot or cold, but given the weather today, we've opted for a cold one. I have just arrived in Taio. I haven't been here in so long. So we're just gonna explore the area, see what there is to eat, explore the little alleyways as well, cause it's filled with shops. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Inside this alleyway, there's so many different shops. And there are also a lot of shops that sell like dry seafood and things like that. So we got a drink. This is called, what is it called again? Lok San Fa. Lok San Fa, you How is it? Okay, I'll see ya. Hoji, it tastes like a more sour version of Ribena. It's good. So as we were walking the streets, some people on the streets were like, do you want to come on our boat? It will take you for a 20 minute tour. And we were like, okay. So here we are, we're in an empty boat. This is $30 a pop. So $60 for the boat for us. And yeah, I have no idea what to expect, but you'll find out as I find out. Apparently we can see some white dolphins, but they were caveating it and saying like, oh, you know, you might be able to see it, but you might not, so. Right now the tide is really low and usually the water levels are actually a lot higher. So right now we get to see a lot of the actual structure of these houses. are back. We didn't see any dolphins, but to be honest, I didn't expect to see any anyway. That was a really nice boat ride though. Okay, we just got two jumbo fish balls. One that's curry and one that's not curry. All right, this is a massive fish ball. I've never had fish ball this big before. Mm. Super bouncy. It is a little bit spicy, but nothing that I can't handle. We also got one that's not too spicy. I'm gonna see ya. 
Now in terms of leaving Tai'o, there are a variety of different options, like taking the ferry, but that is quite infrequent. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the bus to Tungshung and then leave from Tungshung. I've said this so many times, but the weather was absolutely perfect. It, it wasn't too hot and it didn't rain, so... Oh. I'm going to miss my bus. Okay, we've just arrived at a place called Jasmine here in Tungchung City Gate Outlets. We are starving because I ended up doing a lot of steps today. So we've ordered uh, four dishes. We've got veggies, meat, fish and tofu. I'll show you everything when they all arrive. One thing that you absolutely have to try if you're ever in Hong Kong is you need to visit like a bakery, like just a Hong Kong bakery. There's so many distinctive breads like sausage buns, pineapple buns, etc. And what we've got is we've got two different types of buns. We have a pineapple char siu bun. So this is a pineapple bun. And then when you cut into it or when you bite into it, there is char siu pieces on the inside. And we've also got a tuna bun. I think that's pretty self-explanatory, right? This is what I'm talking about. You've got the pineapple bun, and then inside there is chashu. So if you're ever craving chashu, but you want a pineapple bun, I mean, this solves all your desires. The reason a pineapple bun is called that isn't because there are pineapples on the inside, it's because um, the exterior, the patterns, they look like the outside of a pineapple. And then this is what the tuna bun looks like. This one is always my favorite. It's kind of like a tuna mayo onigiri, except you don't have rice. All right, and that is pretty much it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Subscribe if you haven't already liked this video. It really helps me out with a YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. Okay, this is the photo that I'm talking about. I was actually debating whether I should buy it, but then every single time I've bought a photo from a touristy attraction place, I've never regretted it. So I was like, yeah, why not? Let's get it.